Hi everyone, my name is Melissa and this is how to adopt. Today's video is how to sew on a button. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to write your best bad joke in the comments below. And just so you know, my budgie will be out so she may make an appearance. <laughs> and with that, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a little sewing kit. I've emptied mine, but I got this from Coles, I think it was. So just at your local supermarket or at your craft shop or your cheap shop, wherever, it doesn't matter where it comes from. Generally, they will have some thread, some needles, and a threader. These are all you need, plus your button and your material to sew on a button. Now, I've already gotten the largest needle out from this kit, but if you need to find out how to open these ones, there's a little gap in here that when you twist it around, oh, the right way, it will line up with the slots of where your needles are, and then you just tip it upside down, and it falls right out. Make sure you put it back to the side, otherwise you'll get needles falling out everywhere and no one wants to step on a needle, trust me. Okay, so just pull out some thread and you can either try and thread your needle straight away. I've got quite a large one here, so that's easy for me to do. If you find that you're having some trouble, you can either wet the end here or if it gets a little, sometimes you get like that fluff that starts to come off, just cut it up or cut it off and try again. Or you can fold it in half and twist it and try and stick it in that way. But the easiest way is to use your needle threader. There's a little wire at the end here. I don't know if you can see too well. Hopefully you can. That's obviously a lot bigger than the hole of a needle. So all you do is you stick the wire through the hole of the needle Obviously, this is very large. It goes all the way through. Normally, they just go up to there. <laughs> Sweetie, that tickles. <laughs> you get your thread, put it through that hole, and then all you do is you pull the threader out, and it will thread your needle. Ta-da! Then the next thing to do is to pull out how much thread you think you're going to use. I strongly suggest you overestimate it, particularly when you're first starting it's going to be a bit trickier, so it's always better to have some extra. That should be plenty. So I'm just going to cut that off. Now there are different types of scissors. These are just normal crafty scissors. But if you're using something like sewing scissors, they're not going to cut the thread very well. They're for materials that are a bit thicker. Okay, so that's been cut off. So now you just do a knot, twist it around your finger. I'll do that again. Got that on the top of your finger, coming from underneath and up and across. Then get your needle through the top one and pull. And take your fingers out and voila, that's one knot. I strongly suggest that you do as many knots as possible because the thread, thread is quite thin and compared to how big the hole is in either the button or the material, that will just pop straight through and it will be useless. So it's best to do a little one and to do it more than once. Try and get them on top of each other, which is a little tricky to do. Sweetie, she's chewing on my microphone. Okay. All right, that's not great, but it's done. So, got my leftover knitting square that I did years ago. It's quite stretchy, the holes are quite big, but that's all right because I'm just doing a rough thing anyway. And I've got a nice big button for us. Ta da! Now the first thing you want to do is, once you've got your button in the place you want it to be, you need to approach from the back side. So, stick the thread in, I mean the needle in, oh, and line it up so it goes through 
one of the holes of your button. Now pull it almost all the way through. You want to leave some left over because we're going to strengthen the hole by, sweetie, <laughs> we're going to strengthen the hole by going through again. But before we do that, I'm gonna get our button and we're going to go through another hole before we go. Are you all right there, Missy? So my apologies, my budgie has gate crashed this video. Now you can sew your buttons any way you like. You can do it diagonally or <laughs> vertically. <laughs> but whichever way you pick, you need to be consistent with it. Otherwise it's just gonna look like a mess. Oh, are you all right there, Missy? So you pop it down through the next one. I'm gonna do a uppy downy thing. So that's the first little go through. Hang on. Then you get the end of your first thread. So the very end before the knots and you put your needle through that hole that they create and then pull that tight. Now, I usually will do that a few times. Are you all right? Ow, don't bite me. I'll do that a few times because thread's usually pretty weak to be honest and you need to be able to enforce it. Sweetie, don't you eat my apple, it's mummy's apple. All right, so you just go through them a couple of times. Make sure you pull it tight, otherwise you're gonna get weird loops like this. You can pull that from the back too if that makes you feel better. Say hi, sweetie. Don't chew my finger. <laughs> All right, so now that you've done that, the back is going to look like a hot mess. Don't even worry about what it looks like because it's not gonna be tidy, specifically the first few times you do it. And so all you have to do, sweetie, is go over it a few more times because you want it to be as strong as possible. Are you helping me or are you not? Hmm? All right, same, go through the bottom, pull it as tight as you can and down the top. And just keep doing that a few times. <laughs> so I have sewn the thread through a couple of times. And as you can see at the back, it's a bit of a hot mess because I wasn't that careful to be honest with you. Now I now want to tie these two pieces together because I want them to be as strong as possible. So just tie it like it's a normal knot basically. And I would double knot that at least. Sometimes I like to triple knot it but that's just because I'm strange like that. And if you want to, you can also kind of under sew the button as well to reinforce it in that. I don't think I need that this time, certainly because it's not actually important to me right now. And voila, your button should be secure, but still loose enough to function, basically. Once you've done that, snip off the ends. And that's it all done okay today's joke is what did the thread say to the button I'm so into you <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video if you did please like and subscribe write me your best bad joke in the comments below and I will see you next week bye I've actually got a second YouTube channel starting up called little birdie reads reddit and this little one gave me the idea. Hey, sweetie. It's kind of like a little birdie told me. Well, here's the little birdie. Hey, you're so sweet. She's been biting me and stuff. Yeah, you like to play. You like to play. Go on, get it. Get it. Get it. Boop. Boop. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.